Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. My name is Jeff Hudson from United Computer Consultants. Today I'd like to talk about a command in the data tab in Excel called Consolidate. Consolidate does exactly what it says. It lets me summarise in a file the information from other files. In this particular case, I see that I have expenditure budgets for Dallas, New York and Detroit which have been sent to me and I'm going to summarise those three files in the summary file here using the data consolidate command. So the first thing I do is to click in the top left hand cell in the destination file which is the summary file where I'm going to bring in the information from the other three files called the source files and to start the matter off I'm going to click on Data Consolidate and it says where are the items that you want to consolidate. Well I'm going to start off here in the Dallas file. I'll click in B7, drag across to F7 and then down to F18 and I'll add that set of references to the Consolidate window. Now I go down to the Detroit file and do exactly the same thing. I drag through the cells that I want to put into the summary file and I'll add those. And finally I will click in the New York file and do exactly the same thing by adding those cells to the summary file. You'll notice I've put a tick in create links to source data for reasons that we'll see very, very shortly. I do, did not put ticks in top row or left column. I'll be uploading a video shortly showing you an instance where we do need to put ticks in top row and left column. The reason that I haven't done that here, incidentally, is because each of the source files was set out in exactly the same way. So now I'm going to click OK and there is the summary of the cells from the source file. So it's very, very easy once you know how to use it. And I said that I would show you why I put a tick in links to source data. The reason for that quite simply is that when I'm in the anywhere in the summary file in the data tab I see edit links and that tells me the uh, files which are linked to that summary file and I can update values if one of these numbers changes I can update the values. Uh, the change source simply means that the path of the uh, of the four files is recognized in Excel and if uh, for example the IT people change uh, the the drive that uh, that a file or files are on then I need to change the source so uh, if anything happens uh, like that then you just need to be aware that the source does need to change the open source simply means this that if I close a file uh, uh, for, for example I'll close that and I'm going to close the Detroit file. When I close that and now in the summary file when I click on edit links I can click on Detroit and open that source file. So uh, that's how the open source works. Remember that unless you're in the summary file the edit links command does not work. See here I'm in the Detroit file or the Dallas or the New York file that command is greyed out but as soon as, as soon as I'm in the summary file I can edit the links. To break a link uh, what I would do would be to click on the uh, file that I wanted to break the link to and uh, all that means is that let's say that these were franchises and I sold one of the franchises then I can break the link to that franchise so that if there were any changes made if I kept the file um, but broke the link then the uh, totals would not update. Uh, by default the uh, it is automatic uh, for the update and that works like this. So I'm going to close this. Let's say that the wages for um, Dallas for quarter two were actually $100,000. We'll make it a big number so that we can see the, the effect. Over here 
in the destination file. So when I press enter, there the number has automatically updated. And the beauty about uh, consolidating like this is that if you, I'll just uh, widen that so we can see, the, the beauty about it is if you uh, don't have the summary file open at the time and make a change here, the next time you open the summary file that change will have been made. Just to show you that, I'm going to close the summary file. Uh, we'll save the changes there. And now I'm going to make this wage 1 million, just so it stands out. And when I press enter, it's changed all the numbers. Let's see what happened in the summary file, even though it wasn't open. So I'm going to open the summary file. Oops file, my apologies, file open, we'll open the summary file and there I see that the wages have been updated to 1 million. So that's how consolidation works uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a little bit of practice involved, incidentally uh, the question may well be asked how did I get each of these files to appear on the screen at the same time? Well, there is a um, uh, there is a uh, video that I've uploaded to show you to do that, but um, just in case you need to know again, uh, all I did when the files were all open, uh, but I didn't see them in this format. All I did was to click on the view command, arrange all, made sure there was a dot in tiled, and I clicked OK and a part of each of the files showed on the screen at the same time. It's really handy if you have a big screen or two screens. Uh, I'm doing this on a laptop actually, so it was uh, uh, perhaps a little uh, smaller than it normally would have been. Um, that's, the, uh, that's the way I consolidate. Please subscribe unless you've already done so, and uh, love to see you next time. Bye for now.